It's estimated there could be as many as 400 million people around the world who hold cryptocurrency. But it's thought a tiny fraction, around 8 million, are securing their coins offline to protect from crypto hackers or companies collapsing. Remember FTX? It's been nearly a year since that imploded and still a million people are missing their coins. The safest way to protect your crypto is with a hardware wallet, which is, oddly, a physical device. So, let's see for ourselves then. Just how hard is it to take Bitcoin from an exchange and put it onto a hardware wallet, like this? The idea of a hardware wallet is very simple. It holds the private keys to your digital wallet, making you your own bank, just as crypto's inventors envisaged. With the keys stored safely off the internet on a physical device, your coins are safe. I've got hold of one of the most popular ones to test it out. So, I've got to go to the Trezor website and I've got to download their software. You've got to make sure, of course, that you put in the right web address because this will be a prime time. I imagine that hackers and scammers will want to get you to go on their fake Trezor website or fake Ledger website and hand over your Bitcoin by mistake. Then you have to plug in cables and install some firmware. So far, so good. Okay, so now it's telling me that I need to create a backup for my crypto wallet and it's giving me some randomly generated words which are my seed phrase and weirdly it's asking me to write them down. This so-called seed phrase allows me a way back to my currency if I lose or break the hardware. So this feels like a really analog way of securing my crypto. I've got this hardware wallet, which I've obviously, you know, they cost money, a lot of money, but then they've just given me a pen and paper. Now is the potentially tricky bit. I need to somehow get my coins from the exchange, in this case, Binance, one of the most popular in the world, onto this wallet. I had a feeling this would be where it gets tricky. How do you get your money off the exchange. Okay, so I've got a QR code now uh, for my new wallet. So I'm gonna scan that with the app. Invalid, right, okay, so what do I do now? After a bit of good old fashioned online troubleshooting, we're in. It's a bit worrying this moment because of course, I've had this cryptocurrency for years and years. There's not much there, but just sort of trusting the process. So here we go. I'm going to click on withdraw. Just have to wait. I hope it worked. Now, that was stressful and complicated, but I'm now my own crypto bank. No one has access to my little stash apart from me, but it's also a lot of pressure. It's just such a different experience from internet banking, for example, where you know you send money from one person to the next and it keeps you informed of, of you know of all the process, but um, it's not intuitive at all. I can see why the process is daunting to the vast majority out there choosing to take the easier route and just hope that their coins stay safe online. As is always the case with crypto, it's a gamble 